I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Matt, Nigeria 3, Sudan 1 in what is the post-match reaction, guys. Thank you guys for some still quite still quite a amount of people watching, guys. Remember, if you're new to the channel, like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. This was a brilliant, brilliant stream for anyone watching on Twitch, on Facebook, all over the place. I really, really appreciate it, guys. It really, really means a lot, and it de definitely mo motivates me to do a lot more watch along. So please, guys, get involved. Thank you so much. I appreciate I appreciate everyone that got involved. Um, but what a game, guys. What a game. Um, I will be um, doing this and then uploading it separately. So make sure you head over to that video and check it out as well. But Nigeria um, are through to the, the knockout stages, you know, doing having two very, very good performances um, against Egypt, obviously seeing that game out. Um, and then, obviously, against um, what was ultimately, I think, a lacklustre um, Sudanese team. Um, the first game, obviously, the first few minutes, shook away his scores in the first three minutes. Poor defending from Sudan. Uh, and shook away his slots it into the bottom left-hand corner. And you're thinking, right, okay. Okay, 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 guys. Okay. You know, we can do this. I don't think Sudan really got into the game after that point. You noticed, you saw... Um, that um, Nigeria really had a lot of control over the ball, a lot of possession and what have you. They, they really dominated um, possession, Nigeria. Um, and, um, you know, we, we, Sudan, give credit to Sudan. They did defend well. And I think after that goal, Nigeria, while having possession, struggled to create a lot of chances. Um, and um, Sudan really got into a, a defensive gear there. Um, unfortunately, Sudan obviously conceded on the 45th minute, just before the half the halftime start, um, the half whistle went. It was two nil, and there you're thinking. To be honest, um, Sudan probably probably can't come back into this game um, because they um, because they um, they it, two nil was was probably a bit too much to climb. Um, but if they were going to have a chance, they were going to have to go all out in the second half, and again. Defensive errors costing Sudan again. They concede to Mo Simon. Mo Simon, who I actually think I think he was my man of the match personally. I think shout the poll is the poll is in the chat. The poll is in the chat. Who is your man of the match for this game? Who is your man of the match for this game? Because for me, it was Mo Simon. Mo Simon for me was the man of the match. An assist and a goal for Manchester United. And for me, he was definitely the um the man of the match going forward. Um Sudan says, I mean, do you do you want to come on? Do you want to come on, bro? I'll put the link in for anyone who wants to come on and, and, and discuss the Nigeria game. I put the link in the stream yard. If you'd like to come on and have your say, um, please go. And this is the call-in show now. If you would like to come on and have your say, please, 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 um, uh, please, please, please let me know as well. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna adjust the title of this. Um Uh, actually, no, I don't want to adjust the title. For those who are watching, it doesn't matter. If you want to, if you want to have your thoughts, please click the link in the description uh, and in the in the chat and come on and have your say on what was a very good game for Nigeria. So anyway, back on with the match reaction, guys. Uh, Nigeria obviously scored their third goal. It's three 0 to Nigeria. It's plain sailing from there. Um, and unfortunately, however, we can see the penalty. Um, in the 70th minute, um, it actually did go to VAR. Um, I think it was who conceded the penalty again? Um, yes, Aina. Aina conceded the penalty. It was checked by VAR. He stood, um, he stood on the Sudanese player's foot, I think, and pulled him down. It doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, we can see the penalty. They got they they got a, a very good um a very good goal. Well, it was a very good penalty from Kedra. Uh, apologies if I'm butchering these names, but Kedra scored the goal, 3-1 to Sudan. Sudan didn't really take the initiative from there. Um, and Nigeria basically swapped the game and obviously the game ended 3-1. That's the that's the general summary of the, of the game, guys. Um, the reality is Nigeria were mostly comfortable for the entire game, if I'm perfectly honest. Um, and really, really and truly... Um, there really wasn't, I don't think um, an, uh, Sudan really threatened Nigeria for most of that game. Um, they really didn't. Um, 
the positive points for Sudan, because I'm trying to be fair and biased, but obviously I know there's a lot of Nigerians that are watching. And if you're in the chat and if you're watching, let me know where you're from. Where are you from in the world? Blessings to everyone who's watching the channel. Appreciate it, guys. Let me know where you're from. Let me know where you're calling from. It'd be really, really good. Um, so, yeah. Um, what I would say is that... Um, what I would say is that um, the positive for Sudan as a team that they can take from this game is that they did defend well. They weren't embarrassed. And if they could just tighten it up defensively, they could do something against an Egypt, for example. You know, they could get something there. They are going to have to get something against Egypt because obviously Egypt and, and Guinea-Bissau are playing this evening. Um, and I, I would anticipate that Egypt will win. Um, so they really have to hope that um, Nigeria beat Guinea-Bissau, which I think we will. And we will be doing a live stream as well, by the way, guys. Um, I will be live streaming that Nigeria versus Guinea-Bissau game on Wednesday. But um, we, um, you know, we um, we need we need um, we we need to see more from Sudan if they're gonna think of qualifying from this group. Um, and if we, and if they can be defensively sharp, they've got they've got. But this is all about the Super Eagles, guys. Um, Sudan says, <laughs> "I have nothing to say apart from this corruption from the FA has to end." Stop this, pay us to play for us to stop this. European is better. Stop this nonsense, says Sudan top general. Um, I mean, there's not much that I can say to that aside from I hear you because the F nine FFA corruption is 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 is, is peak, man. Um, there's corruption in all forms of the sport, unfortunately. Um, there really is, um, and um, and. Sudan is no exception. Um, all I can really have to say is that it's got to be for pride and pride only. Um, but yes, the corruption from the North Sudanese FFA at Winston Prize is is, uh, is, 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 is a bit of a, it's a bit of a joke, just like the Nigerian FFA as well. Um, but this is about the Super Eagles, guys. This is about the Super Eagles, guys. And shout out to Nigeria for. Um, for me, a second brilliant performance in a row. It was a very, very good performance by Nigeria. Fantastic performance. Um, and, um, you know, I think the question has to be asked, you know, can, um, uh, what's it saying? Can Nigeria, can they go on and win the AFCON? And that's the question. Can Nigeria win the African Cup of Nations going from going from the Swiss tournament. I think they can. I think they can. I think Nigeria can win the African Cup of Nations. Um, I certainly think they're one of the favourites to win the African Cup of Nations. Um, and I think that when you look at the team so far and how they performed, although knockout football is different to group football, you've got to be looking at Cameroon, at Senegal. I still don't think you can underestimate Algeria. Um, and obviously playing styles is important. Um, but for me, you know, Nigeria and obviously Ivory Coast are there, but for me, Nigeria have looked like one of the better, um, the better teams going forward in my, in my personal opinion. Um, and I'm very impressed by, by, by this team. I really, really am impressed by this team. Let me know what your thoughts are. Remember to like the video guys, like the video, like the video, subscribe, um, to it. So I, it, it goes a long way. Appreciate it. We've gained quite a lot of subs in this stream. Um, quite a lot so i'll be doing these more frequently <laughs> consider joining channel membership to support old man g for, your, for for more football content consider subscribing to my second channel red marvel link is in the description as well and make sure that you follow us on twitch um as well i'll be on twitch as well that also that goes a long way um that goes a long way as well um let's have a look and I says, uh, big up Nigeria. I big them up as well, bro. I big them up as well, man. Big up to Nigeria. Big up to the Super Eagles, man. Big up to these guys because, I mean, the sad thing is, and the only thing I'll say about this, the, the only thing I will say about this is just that it is, it's sad that we may have a situation where um, the the um, manager of this, of this team... Um, you know, that we basically, you know, Egg Ravine, you know, ends up 
basically being sacked. Not sacked, but having to leave. I know he's part of the NFF, um, but at the end of the day, we're looking good. Um, we look good, at least in this context. We're looking better. And I just think that it's sad that we're going to replace this man with a non-Nigerian coach and play this dead um, Portuguese European football that might not even get us to qualify for the World Cup. That, for me, is what's sad. That, for me, is what is very, very sad about this this, this team so far, and, and, I, and I hope it changes. Um, but ultimately, guys, a brilliant, brilliant display of, of football from, from Nigeria. Um, I can't ask any more as, as a Nigerian fan, bro. I can't. I really, really can't. I mean, looking at the polls here, it looks like a lot of people are going with what I said. Again, I, I think the same. Um, 21 votes so far. Um, 57 percent have said that Moses Simon was their man of the match um, for Nigeria today, and I don't disagree. Um, your man of the match um, um, being Moses Simon, I, I I completely agree. I think he had a goal and assist. Was always impactful when he played. I have no I have no disagreement with that at all. Um, last thing, let me just quickly go through some of the stats of this game, and then we will round up again. Thank you guys so much for for, for tuning and getting involved. We will be covering the um, Watch Along. I'll be doing Guinea Nigeria Watch Along on Wednesday and hopefully maybe a few other Apple games as well. Please let me know in the chat and the comments. It will help with the algorithm. Comment below and please let me know in the chat what countries you'd want to see me cover as part of the Afghan competition. It, me it means a lot. Um, so let me quickly go through the stats and we will stop. We'll round up. So obviously that's the lineup. So for the stats here, the total stats, obviously, you can see, ultimately, um, Nigeria having um, Nigeria having um, ultimately 17 shots on target um, to um, Sudan's five. Sorry, 17 overall shots to Sudan's five shots. Um, Nigeria having eight shots on target, three of which obviously went in with goals to Sudan's two. Um, passes, five to seven to three, eight, one. Um, it looks like that didn't change that much from the from the, from the first half. So there you go. Um, they didn't really do that much in the second half. Pass accuracy, 84 to 78. Fouls, Sudan committed almost double the amount of fouls on Nigeria, obviously. Although no yellow cards, which is interesting. Double the amount of fouls, yet um, zero cards. And you can make an argument, and this is what I was saying in the stream, that what I liked about this Nigeria team is that they were able to um, manage the game. Game management. They were able to say, listen... We can get tactical fouls to slow down the game, to do all these things. This was this this was good to see from Nigeria, you know. So if you are, if a team is um, good to see and see what the local teams are doing. Yeah, shout out to, I agree with that, bro. I agree with that. But, but what I was saying is that if a team, if a team, if the opposing team has got, has got more fouls than your team and yet doesn't have yellow cards, you're doing a good job because you're able to disrupt the play um, without, you know, you know, giving bookings. It's the same thing with the other way around. But yeah, I'm kind of making some gibberish sense. No red cards, obviously. One offside for Sudan. Three corners to Nigeria for his team. And as we can see now, these are the standings here for the Group D standings. Obviously, Egypt and Guinea-Bissau have got to play um, later this evening. I think it's been about half an hour from now. But Nigeria, six points basically through... Guinea-Bissau won, Sudan won, Egypt company won, but have got obviously extra games to play. Um, obviously, if Egypt or Guinea-Bissau win their games, they'll go ahead of Sudan. And really, it is really on Sudan now. They have to beat Egypt if they're going to consider qualifying um, for the remainder of the AFCON. Guys, this has been an amazing stream, one of the best streams in a while. Stay tuned for more African Cup of Nations content. Let me know your thoughts. Remember to comment below, subscribe, and support the, this Red Devil Studio channel for more content. Consider becoming a member. Support my, uh, well, follow me on Twitter at We Are United X. Links in the description, as well as my Twitch uh, and my second channel. Plug it out, guys. Come on, Super Eagles. Let's hope that Nigeria can win this AFCON. Blessings to you and your family and your friends. Have a nice day, everyone. And cheers.